Good afternoon, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? It has been a while since I've been on here. Oops, I think I've got too much sun going on there. I hope that you're having a great, what's today now? Today is Wednesday, right? Yeah, I hope that you're having a great Wednesday. My name is Julia Spence and I'm a life coach. For those of you that do not know me, hi Joanne, thanks for joining. It's been a while since I've been on here. Let's see if I could. Hi, Carlene. Thanks for joining the broadcast. Let me get rid of my gum. <laughs> let, me, let me let you guys see. the Hi, sis. Let me let you guys see if I can remember how to do this. I haven't been on here. Ah, there we go. Let me show you my city while I seek to get rid of my gum. I am actually by the seawall in Vancouver. And I'm showing you the colors of fall. And I'm showing you the bright sunshine. Thank you guys. So I know, right? It, this city is such a beautiful city. This province is such a beautiful city. I've had the pleasure of living in Manitoba. And Manitoba has its own beauty, especially when we have the first snowfall and everything is just so nice and crisp and white. It's really pretty, but I love the mountains. I'm a mountain girl, <laughs> although I grew up in, a, in the Caribbean where uh, the island that I was born in, which is beautiful island of Barbados, is it's pretty flat, but uh, nothing compares to the mountains. I'm a mountain girl. I love the mountains. Anyhow, why did I hop on here today? It's been a long time. I wanted to come on and encourage you today. So this is Wednesday motivation lunchtime for me, <laughs> motivation for you guys. Um, I was thinking about writing. I posted a, a post about becoming a published author today and I want to encourage the writers I want to encourage the writers today whether you write books whether you write content hey Ria thanks for joining beautiful whether you write books whether you write content for courses whether you write songs I'm encouraging the writers today you may have heard people put out songs with thanks for watching Sonia people put out songs let me see if I could get out of the sunshine you, you may have heard people put out songs that uh, have similar lyrics to what God has given you, but I want to push you today. I want to push you to write anyways. I've been working on a book about soaring, and recently I see Bishop T.D. Jakes is also <laughs> releasing a book called Soar. Is that going to stop me? No, because T.D. Jakes has his audience to reach. I have my audience to reach. Hey, Madonna, thanks for joining the broadcast. I have my audience to reach, and you have your audience to reach too, so I don't care who wrote what, who posted what, whatever God has deposited in you today, I want to encourage you to write it down and get it published, whether it be a song, whether it be a course, course content, whether it be curriculum for the education system in your nation, I am encouraging you today that whatever God has deposited in you to write, let that library come forth. People are waiting to hear what God has deposited in you. People are waiting to read it. People are waiting to get the revelation that heaven has given you. People are waiting on you. So I just came on here to encourage the writers today. Write the vision and make it plain. Write, write, write. Don't let anything stop you. Sometimes you get a revelation and, you know, you sit on it for a little while and then somebody else writes it, something similar, and you say to yourself, man, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to write because people may think, well, they heard me say, yeah, I'm happy to see you too, girl. The, people may say, oh, um, she saw T.D. Jakes with that book, Soar, and that's why she's going to write a, a book on Soar. No, I've been sitting on my books about soaring. And some of you have seen me use, use the hashtag about soaring many times. So that's my evidence to see that I didn't steal T.D. Jakes' <laughs> idea about soar. You know, just go ahead. Whatever God is depositing in you, people are waiting to experience you. And whatever he has experienced him through you, you know, he is looking for a return on, on his investment. As I wrote about my post about writing today, I've been writing mm, at least for 17 years. At least for 17 years, I can say for sure. Maybe I was writing before then, but never paid attention. But I'm a writer. And it's time for me to become a published author. And it's time for you to, de to release in the earth whatever God has deposited in you. So that's my main reason for coming on today, to push the writers. You may be, God may be calling you to write curriculum, new curriculum or new, new um, processes and procedures for HR personnel. 
whatever it is God has deposited in you. Hi, Giselle. Thank you for joining. Giselle actually said to me today, I miss seeing you live. And that was my hint to get on and motivate. And then, as I said, I was sharing to, to push the individuals that God has deposited in uh, curriculum, writing, whatever it is inside of you to come forth. I'm going to show you the float planes. I love down here. I love by the water. I haven't been down by the water in about three weeks. I work so close to the water. I haven't been down here in about three weeks. And I've been sitting at my desk working, 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 not taking full lunch breaks. And I'm like, you know what? Today is the day. I'm going to get out today. So let me let you guys see the plane that's about to take off. Yeah, there's a plane down there about to take off. And, and that's what God wants to do with you. I've done a, a takeoff uh, uh, live broadcast several months ago about taking off. And God is pushing us to take off. It's, you know, we make a lot of excuses as to why we can't do it. Oh, somebody else has it already. Why me? I'm not good enough. All this garbage that we tell ourselves. But God doesn't make junk. So if he has deposited something excellent inside of you, he is waiting for you to produce it. So I am here as your midwife, as my friend um, Carol Mark said today. I'm your midwife today. I'm pushing you to produce those songs. Yes, the songs may have a different sound than what people are used to, but God is releasing a new thing in the earth. He's birthing something new in the earth. And he's looking for people that are bold and courageous enough to come on in and and, and, and manifest in the earth. Yes, we need the supernatural because we get the, uh, the revelation and the understanding and the insight from the supernatural, but then we need to bring it into the natural. The Lord's Prayer says, on earth as it is in heaven, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, here he's gearing up. So God wants what he has written in heaven to begin to manifest in the earth realm. So do not delay any longer. Put your plans in place, right? We need to plan. We need to plan. We need to move from dreaming into planning. And that's why it's important to get a, a midwife slash coach, whatever you want, whoever, whoever it is that motivates you to get moving, connect with that person and let them help you manifest what God is able to is waiting for you to produce because it's funny you know we think that yeah I'm a writer I'm a singer I don't need any help but guess what no man is an island I'm a writer but I still need some person to edit I mean I'm an editor too I edit other people's stuff but I still I'm going to go out and get some person to edit my book when it's finished and I still need help with publishing so even though I might be a writer and I might be an editor I still need help from other people I might be a singer songwriter but I still need the band to come and play the instrumentals or whatever to get the song out there produced. So we need other people to help us. So I'm encouraging you today to look around, ask the Holy Spirit, who is supposed to partner with you to produce, to manifest what greatness God has deposited in you and go for it. Okay, so I'm going to go take a walk and enjoy the rest of my lunch break. But I wanted to hop on in today to encourage the writers the, the, the folks that have the curriculum inside, the, the folks that have the songs, the, the, the folks that have the HR, the HR processes and procedures that the, the educators that know how the, the educational system can be transformed, those that operate in government to make government more efficient, those of you that God has deposited transformation in, I'm challenging you today. Okay, get out there and manifest the greatness that God is depositing in you. So thank you guys for joining this short broadcast. I'm going to give you a little picture again of the beautiful colors of fall in my city, Vancouver. And I hope you guys, wherever you are, you're having a fantastic day. And I will see you guys. As I said, I'm getting myself together for writing. So if you don't see me live, hey, I'm busy. I'm not, I haven't dropped off. I'm just busy about my father's business in another realm that he's called me to manifest his greatness so bless you guys thank you so much for watching the broadcast and have yourselves a fantastic afternoon bye now